Let's see a little bit more what XLC can do. I'm going to use the clone button to look up, find an equation here and redraw it using numerical instead of algebraic symbols. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just one click. And maybe you can see what the difference here between an algebraic display of an equation or a numeric display of an equation. Uh, an equation uh, actually is just a graphics object and you can stretch it, uh, you can do anything you like with it. But this graphics object belongs to this cell here, this EQS statement. And when I redraw all the equations on the page, then it's always going to be redrawn back over the EQS statement. Something else about EQS statements as well. Let's take this column here and I'm going to make uh, all the characters red. I'm now going to use another EQS function and I'm going to show this formula here in cell B11. Watch what happens this time. It's taken on the characteristics of the cell in which it lives. So this graphics object belongs to this cell which has red uh, font properties so the equation is also drawn with red font properties. It's the same if you change font size or uh, font style. Uh, it will always be redrawn taking uh, the font and cell properties from the cell in which the EQS statement lives. So you can produce very colourful documents if that's your wish.